Hello. And welcome back to Mini Reads. Today we will be summarizing the book, Living in the Light, by acclaimed author Shakti Gawain. The author invites readers on an illuminating journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Drawing from her profound spiritual insights and personal experiences, Gawain unveils a path towards living a more authentic and fulfilling life. With wisdom and compassion, she encourages readers to embrace their inner light, overcome self-limiting beliefs, and cultivate a deeper connection with their true selves. Through practical exercises and profound teachings, Living in the Light serves as a guiding beacon, empowering readers to create a life of joy, purpose, and conscious awareness. Chapter 1 – A New Way of Life In Chapter 1, the author introduces readers to a transformative perspective on living. Gawain emphasizes the importance of recognizing and connecting with our inner selves, acknowledging the power of our thoughts and beliefs in shaping our experiences. Through self-awareness, self-acceptance, and aligning with our deepest desires, she invites us to embark on a journey toward living a more conscious and fulfilling life, grounded in love and authenticity. Chapter 2 – The Higher Power Within Us Chapter 2 explores the concept of tapping into our inner wisdom and connecting with a higher power that exists within each of us. Gawain emphasizes the importance of acknowledging and trusting this innate guidance system, discussing methods such as meditation, visualization, and creative expression that can help us access our inner power. By cultivating a deeper understanding of ourselves and aligning with this higher power, we can live more authentic, fulfilling lives filled with purpose and joy. Chapter 3, Intuition Chapter 3 explores how our intuition, a deep inner knowing and guidance, can guide us towards a more fulfilling and authentic life. Gawain emphasizes the importance of listening to our intuitive wisdom, trusting our instincts, and cultivating a strong connection with our inner selves. Through personal anecdotes and practical exercises, the chapter encourages readers to tap into their intuition as a valuable tool for navigating life's challenges and making aligned choices. Chapter 4, Becoming a Creative Channel Chapter 4, Gawain emphasizes the importance of cultivating our innate creativity to access higher levels of consciousness and align with our soul's purpose. By surrendering to the creative flow, trusting our intuition, and embracing the unknown, we can tap into a limitless source of inspiration and manifest our desires in harmony with the universe. This chapter serves as a guide to help individuals awaken their creative potential and live a more authentic and fulfilling life. Chapter 5, Exploring Our Many Selves In Chapter 5, the author delves into the concept of our multifaceted nature. Gawain emphasizes the importance of acknowledging and understanding the various aspects of ourselves, such as our inner child, our shadow self, and our higher self. By exploring these different selves, we gain insight into our motivations, fears, and desires, allowing us to cultivate self-awareness and work towards achieving harmony and balance in our lives. The chapter provides practical exercises and guidance for embracing our many selves and integrating them into a cohesive and authentic whole. Chapter 6, The World as Our Mirror Chapter 6 explores the concept that our external reality reflects our internal beliefs and feelings. It delves into the power of our thoughts and emotions in shaping our experiences, emphasizing the importance of self-awareness and taking responsibility for our own reality. Through insightful anecdotes and practical exercises, the chapter guides readers to recognize their patterns, release limiting beliefs, and create positive changes in their lives by aligning their inner world with their desired outer manifestations. Chapter 7, Spirit and Form In Chapter 7, the author explores the dynamic interplay between our spiritual essence and the physical world we inhabit. Gawain delves into the idea that while we are spiritual beings having a human experience, it is essential to balance our connection to the spiritual realm with an appreciation for the material realm. By understanding the interconnectedness of spirit and form, we can cultivate a deeper sense of fulfillment and purpose in our lives. Chapter 8, The Male and Female Within In Chapter 8, author explores the concept of masculine and feminine energies that exist within every individual. Gawain delves into the qualities associated with these energies and emphasizes the importance of embracing and balancing both aspects within ourselves to achieve harmony and wholeness. By recognizing and integrating these energies, 
readers are encouraged to enhance their self-awareness and create more fulfilling relationships and lives. Chapter 9, Men and Women Chapter 9 delves into the societal conditioning that has shaped our understanding of gender roles and how it impacts our relationships. Gawain discusses the importance of embracing and honoring both masculine and feminine qualities within ourselves, fostering balance and harmony in our interactions. By recognizing and valuing the unique qualities of each gender, the chapter encourages readers to cultivate healthier and more fulfilling connections with the opposite sex. Chapter 10, East and West, A New Challenge Chapter 10 explores the cultural and spiritual differences between Eastern and Western philosophies, highlighting the unique challenges and opportunities they present. Gawain delves into the principles of Eastern thought such as mindfulness, meditation, and the interconnectedness of all things, while also acknowledging the individualism and materialism prevalent in the Western mindset. Through this exploration, she encourages readers to embrace the best of both worlds and find a balanced approach that integrates ancient wisdom with modern living. Chapter 11, Trusting Intuition In Chapter 11, the author explores the power and significance of intuition in our lives. Gawain emphasizes the importance of developing trust in our intuitive guidance and offers practical techniques to enhance our ability to listen to and follow our inner wisdom. By acknowledging the value of intuition and learning to rely on it, we can make more authentic choices and live a life aligned with our deepest desires and purpose. Chapter 12, Feelings Chapter 12 emphasizes the importance of acknowledging and honoring our emotions as a vital part of our personal growth and well-being. The chapter delves into various aspects of feelings, including their connection to our thoughts, the impact of repressed emotions on our lives, and techniques for effectively expressing and releasing emotions in a healthy and constructive manner. Gawain encourages readers to embrace their feelings as valuable messengers and guides on the path to self-discovery and inner harmony. Chapter 13, Balancing Being and Doing In Chapter 13, the author explores the importance of finding harmony between our inner world and outer actions. Gawain emphasizes the significance of balancing our beingness, the state of inner stillness and presence, with our doingness, the outward expression of our intentions and goals. By cultivating a healthy equilibrium between these two aspects of our lives, we can experience greater fulfillment, joy, and authenticity as we navigate our personal and professional endeavors. Chapter 14, Authoritarian and Rebel In Chapter 14, the author explores the dynamics between individuals who embody contrasting archetypes. She delves into the characteristics and motivations of both the authoritarian figure, who seeks control and conformity, and the rebel, who challenges authority and fosters change. Gawain delves into the psychological and spiritual aspects of these archetypes, offering insights on how to find balance and embrace one's true self in a world filled with power dynamics. Chapter 15 Relationships. Chapter 15 explores the transformative power of our relationships. It delves into the significance of authentic connections, emphasizing the importance of self-awareness, clear communication, and personal growth within partnerships. Gawain highlights the role of relationships as mirrors for self-reflection and provides practical guidance on nurturing healthy, loving bonds that support our individual and collective evolution. Chapter 16, Our Children. Chapter 16, explores the transformative journey of parenthood and the profound impact it has on our lives. Gawain delves into the challenges and joys of raising children, emphasizing the importance of creating a nurturing environment that allows them to grow and express their true selves. She highlights the significance of fostering open communication, guiding children in discovering their passions, and supporting their unique individuality while maintaining healthy boundaries. Ultimately, this chapter reminds us of the profound love and responsibility we have as parents to cultivate a foundation of love, acceptance, and growth for our children. Chapter 17, Work and Play Chapter 17, explores the interconnectedness between our professional endeavors and personal enjoyment. Gawain highlights the significance of finding fulfillment in our work and the importance of aligning it with our passions and values. By emphasizing the integration of playfulness and creativity into our professional lives, the chapter encourages readers to create a harmonious balance between work and leisure, ultimately leading to a more joyful and fulfilling existence. 
Chapter 18, Money. Chapter 18, explores the complex and often misunderstood concept of money. The author delves into the spiritual aspects of money, emphasizing that it is a tool for manifestation and exchange rather than a measure of personal worth. Through practical exercises and insightful anecdotes, Gawain guides readers towards developing a healthy and balanced relationship with money, encouraging them to align their financial goals with their core values and to embrace abundance as a natural state of being. Chapter 19, Health. In Chapter 19, the author emphasizes the importance of taking responsibility for our own well-being and understanding the mind-body connection. She explores the power of positive thinking, visualization, and affirmations in promoting healing and maintaining good health. Gawain encourages readers to listen to their bodies, trust their intuition, and make conscious choices that support their physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Through practical exercises and insightful guidance, this chapter serves as a valuable resource for achieving and maintaining holistic health. Chapter 20, Your Perfect Body. Chapter 20 explores the concept of embracing and appreciating our bodies as unique and sacred vessels. It delves into the importance of self-love, acceptance, and the understanding that our bodies are an integral part of our spiritual journey. Gawain provides insights and practical exercises to help readers develop a positive relationship with their physical form, fostering a harmonious connection between mind, body, and spirit. Chapter 21, Life and Death. Chapter 21 explores the profound and mysterious nature of life's ultimate transition. Gawain offers insights and perspectives on death, emphasizing its intrinsic connection to life and the importance of embracing both its inevitability and the potential for growth and transformation it presents. The chapter delves into various aspects of death, including spiritual beliefs, near-death experiences, and the healing process associated with loss, providing readers with a compassionate and enlightening exploration of this profound human experience. Chapter 22, Transforming Our World Chapter 22 delves into the profound potential for personal and global transformation. The chapter explores the interconnectedness of all life and emphasizes the importance of taking responsibility for our thoughts, beliefs, and actions. It encourages readers to align their intentions with the greater good, envision a harmonious world, and actively contribute to its creation through conscious choices and spiritual practices. Gawain inspires readers to embrace their power as agents of change and offers practical guidance on living in harmony with oneself and the planet. Chapter 23, A Vision Chapter 23, A Vision from the Book, Living in the Light, by Shakti Gawain explores the power of visualization and the role it plays in manifesting our desires. Through personal anecdotes and practical exercises, Gawain emphasizes the importance of creating a clear and detailed vision of what we want to achieve, as well as aligning our thoughts, emotions, and actions with that vision. By harnessing the energy of our imagination and tapping into our inner wisdom, we can unleash our creative potential and bring about transformative change in our lives. Key Points to Take Away Number 1. Self-Awareness and Self-Responsibility The book emphasizes the importance of cultivating self-awareness and taking responsibility for our own lives. Gawain encourages readers to explore their thoughts, emotions, and beliefs, and to recognize that they have the power to shape their reality. Number 2. Trusting Intuition Gawain emphasizes the significance of trusting one's intuition as a guiding force in making decisions and navigating life. She encourages readers to listen to their inner wisdom and to develop a strong connection with their intuition as a reliable source of guidance. Number 3. Creative Visualization, the book introduces the concept of creative visualization as a powerful tool for manifesting desires. Gawain explains how visualizing positive outcomes and aligning oneself with those images can bring about real-world changes, helping individuals create the life they desire. Number 4. Healing and Transformation, Gawain emphasizes the importance of healing past wounds and embracing personal growth. She discusses various healing techniques and encourages readers to explore their emotions, release limiting beliefs, and develop a sense of self-love and acceptance. Number 5. Living in the Present Moment The book emphasizes the significance of living in the present moment and being fully engaged in the here and now. 
Gawain suggests that by letting go of regrets about the past and worries about the future, individuals can experience greater peace, joy, and fulfillment in their lives. She offers techniques and insights to help readers cultivate mindfulness and live more consciously. So, that's all we've got on this book. Stay tuned for more detailed summaries in future. Please do leave a like, share and subscribe to our channel.